G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, wow, how much simpler was that to just uh, carry up, carry out, and set up compared to the old, uh, the old twins. I'm not setting up the twins tonight purely because it's meant to get a little bit cloudy later on, and um, there is a little bit of cloud around too. So it's really not worth me setting up, uh, spending the time setting up them just for maybe you know a, a couple of hours of uh, of images uh, for my project. However, this is the advantage of a quick little simple grab and go type uh, setup. Um, as you can see, I still got the Esprit 80 uh, here, so um, shh, don't go telling uh, good friends at Skywatcher. Um, they haven't asked for it back yet. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can borrow it for just a little bit longer. Um, well, what are we going to image tonight? Um, I mean, like this night was completely unexpected. I was not, yeah, I, was, I, th I thought it was just going to be cloudy for a little while. Um, we are starting to get slightly warmer days now um, as we, you know, come out of uh, winter, but the weather is a bit unpredictable. So, um, yeah, I was pretty amazed when I saw some clear skies and figured, you know what, I love shooting with this, shooting the tarantula with this thing. I couldn't believe the, the um, unguided exposures I was getting. So let's see if we can uh, do it again. Um, maybe push for longer and uh, and see if it wasn't just a fluke i am thinking something everyone's image before something simple something wide field something maybe like like the lagoon uh yeah i don't know i'm just excited that it's clear anyway i'm going to uh fire it up and uh let's pick a target and start imaging Okay guys, so we've just slewed to M8, the Lagoon Nebula, and the Lagoon is one of my favourites. I've shot it fairly recently with the Rasa Twins, um, so let's hope that tonight's session goes just as well. Now it is a larger field of view compared to the Rasa Twins, um, so I want to get Truf the Truford Nebula in on it as well. I am also using an uh, astronomic CLS CCD uh, filter um, to help with the light pollution. Um, a little bit and it goes really well with the Astro modded um, Z7. You might have seen the Tarantula Nebula shot I took. Well, I didn't mention in that video I was actually using that filter as well. There is a little bit of a moon. The um, Lagoon Nebula is fairly high up still, um, although this time of the year the Milky Way is going to be lower and daylight savings is starting to kick in. Like it's starting to get the darker later on in the night. So. Um, it won't be long before that Milky Way is uh, completely gone. So let's see if we can get a few targets on the Milky Way um, before it uh, goes for the year. Now, I have moved this slightly, and the great thing about the ASIA Pro is that you can just tap uh, on the actual um, screen a little bit and tell it to go, and it will slightly move. So let us do that. And, uh, See how we go with that, fingers crossed. It is getting a little bit cold, my hands are starting to get a bit numb. All right, so we're all centered up. I think I like this composition um, there, Lagoon, Truford, all in one shot. Now what we're gonna do is uh, take a, a preview shot. And I think this preview shot, I think we're gonna go, uh, let's really test it. Let's let's test it. Let's go. Well, you know what? Let's go a quick 60 second exposure and uh, and see how well the tracking's going. All right, so we just finished our 60 second exposure, and that's looking pretty damn good. So I'm just going to go. Just going to go ham. Let's go 300 seconds. Now it's going to take a little bit, so I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, 300 seconds was absolutely pushing it. Um, not by much, but I think uh, if we had a slightly wider field of view, um, I reckon we might have got away with it. But we're back down to 120 second exposures at an ISO of 1600, so I've pushed the ISO up a little bit higher. 
uh, to compensate for the uh, exposure a little bit. And um, yeah, we'll just fire them off and see what uh, kind of image we come out with in the end. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, cue the time lapse and I'll speak to you later. Well everyone, that was a, a fun little imaging session, um, unexpected one for the night. The, uh, the clouds are starting to come out now, it's um, quite light cloud at the moment, so it's starting to build up it's thicker cloud, I can see it's starting to come through the subs, so we're going to call it a night. Uh, so let's stack the, uh, the images that I've captured for tonight and see what we uh, sort of come up with. I reckon it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I ended up also changing the exposure down to 60 seconds, because I was trailing fractionally at 120 seconds uh, so um yeah i think uh, a little bit probably a little bit better of a polar alignment um might have fixed that issue there but we are starting to um i think get to the uh the, the limitations of this mount here now south when i'm pointing south uh, when i was shooting the tarantula nebula I can get away with slightly longer exposures because you don't really notice it um, as much because we're right near the pole but because we're uh, basically imaging the middle of the Milky Way in the middle of the sky um, you notice that that trailing or that um, that lack of the auto guide a little bit so uh, yeah still very lightweight very easy um, setup to use and uh, and I've been enjoying it for uh, nights like this being able to uh, quickly get in a bit of an imaging session and uh and yeah all right so that's it for me uh if you've enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to uh leave a comment if you've got any questions and if this is the first video you've seen of mine please check out some of my others and if you've enjoyed them hit that subscribe all right guys that's it for me so until next time take it easy see you soon.